Right, now it's time to take another look at some of the amazing stuff that was on show at this year's Gadget Show Live. Yeah, and new to the show this year was the Future Tech Zone, which is where high-tech companies bring their latest kit, their bleeding-edge technology, and put it on show to anyone and everyone. Of course, once Jason and I got a sniff of what was going to be on show, we were very much first to the stands. Yeah, yeah. We were there like a month before, weren't we, in a little tent? Yeah, we were keen. From next level augmented reality to bionic simulators, this is the kind of gadgetry that once sounded like science fiction, but is now on the very cusp of glorious reality. I'd spotted a contingent from Festo. Remember my penguin friend from last I year? I do, yeah. Yeah? And the guys up here? Oh, dude. Right, incredible well, tech. The people at Festo have created this. Oh! The next generation oh, in yes. ride simulators. May I? Yeah, Jason. Is that okay? Do you mind? In. Now, oh, thank you, thank you'll you. You'll be used to ride simulators working on hydraulics. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and being quite jerky. Yeah, air yeah. being pushed in and pulled out. Well, this works using bionic muscles. What? Yeah, so the ride should actually be smoother. The fluidic muscle is a mesh tube which, under the pressure of air flowing through it, contracts in length and expands in diameter just like a real muscle. How's it feel? Fly. Yeah? So your movement should be a lot smoother, a lot more fluid, and less like this air being pumped in and, and you know what? the muscles. Honestly, smooth. honestly. Yeah. You know I've been on a lot of hydraulic simulators. That's why I put you in here. They're often very sort of visceral, they're very jerky. Yeah. And this is smooth. It does feel more like a car than I'm used to. Also, I'm doing a really good lap time. <laughs> it's got a boat. Well, cars, look out, cars! Let's hit these bars. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a, that is very smooth.